Hi guys, welcome to Erica's Joyful Oven. Today we're going to make some coconut peak. These are buttery, soft and delicious and this recipe has been widely requested. I'm so excited to share it with you. Let's get started. In a large mixing bowl, add 6 cups of all-purpose flour that has been sifted, 2 tablespoons each of brown sugar and granulated sugar, 1.5 teaspoons of salt and a heaping half teaspoon of grated nutmeg. Also add 4 teaspoons of instant dried yeast and we're going to stir this together until it's well combined. Next we'll add 8 tablespoons or a half cup of unsalted butter at room temperature and 1 and a quarter cups of grated dried coconut. The coconut has been finely shredded and I did not squeeze out any of the liquids from it so it's going to be full of flavor. Mix all of the ingredients together making sure that the butter and the coconut has been well incorporated with the dry ingredients. Make a well in the center of the ingredients and we'll add in two and a quarter cups of coconut milk together with three tablespoons of coconut milk powder and one teaspoon of mixed essence. Mix the ingredients together until it forms a soft dough and we've added enough liquids so that the dough is going to be quite soft and that is going to give you a soft coconut bake that is not going to dry out. So at this stage the dough is quite soft and I'm not going to add any extra dried flour. I'm going to let the dough sit for 5 minutes before I continue kneading. This resting time relaxes the gluten in the flour and it's going to make the dough easier to handle. So now I'll continue kneading the dough, adding just about a quarter cup total of dried flour. And I'm going to knead this. The dough is going to be very soft and if you add too much dried flour, it's going to dry out the moisture in the dough and it's going to give you a tough and dry coconut bake. So while I'm kneading, let's talk a little bit about the butter that I've used. You can use quarter cup each of cooking and margarine however i have used only unsalted butter and the unsalted butter gives this coconut bake such a rich buttery taste and it keeps it soft and moist so after two minutes of kneading the dough is still quite soft and you can see once it begins to tear we know that it's ready add a very thin coating of butter or vegetable oil on the surface of the dough and we're going to let this rest in the bowl Covered lightly with a kitchen towel for 20 to 30 minutes until it has doubled in size. The dough has now doubled in size. It is so rich and it smells amazing. We're going to turn it onto a lightly greased surface. Divide the dough into two. But first, I'm going to knead the dough gently to get out some of that extra air bubbles in there. And working with half at a time, we're going to very gently knead the dough and we want to get rid of some of the air bubbles so that the dough is going to raise evenly when we place it into the pan. Seal the edges of the dough together and we're going to place it onto a generously greased baking tray. You could use a rolling pin but because the dough is so soft and pliable it's easy to press and stretch the dough to form the desired shape. I'm pressing the dough to about one and a half or two inches in thickness and I'm pressing the top of the dough to a flat consistency but if you wanted a dome shaped coconut bake you can press the edges of the dough but leave the center slightly elevated next we'll take a fork and make some indentations throughout the dough and this gives the coconut bake its signature look let the dough rest for 20 minutes at room temperature and then bake in a preheated oven at 375 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes after 20 minutes, brush the top of the bakes with some melted butter and place it back into the oven until it's a beautiful golden color. And this is the bake fresh out of the oven after 25 minutes. It looks beautiful and it's so soft already. I'm going to add a light brushing of butter on the top of the bake and it's going to keep the top nice and moist. After 5 minutes, the bakes are cool enough to be transferred to a kitchen towel. This coconut bake is so soft and it smells so heavenly and I am going to cut into it to show you how soft the inside is. Guys, look at how soft the crust on this coconut bake is. It is amazing. The inside is so soft. The crust is just the perfect balance of crisp and soft. Guys, you will definitely love this coconut bake. Try the recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments or feel free to message me. And fresh from the oven guys, this is the best way to enjoy coconut bake with a spread of butter and maybe a slice of cheese. 
So guys, be sure to like and subscribe to Erica's Joyful Oven on Facebook and YouTube and check out my new website, joyfuloven.com. I'll see you guys next time for another amazing recipe.